Hey everyone, Mike Mulligan here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to change display and text size settings on iOS devices. So one great thing about iOS devices is the built-in accessibility features to help people with different disabilities. And today I'm going to be focusing on the ones for vision. So for somebody who has low vision or a visual impairment, the different accessibility features that are available to help them navigate and use their iOS devices. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the screen record function on my iPad Pro. Fortunately, most iOS devices are either the same or similar to access these features. All right, so let's get started. All right, so now I'm going to get started here with going through the different features of changing display and text sizes on iOS devices. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on or tap on settings. So I'm going to tap on settings. And after you tap on settings, there's a lot of different choices to choose from, but what you're looking for is accessibility. So on my screen under home screen and dock and above the wallpaper tab is the accessibility tab. So I'm going to tap on that. And that brings up a menu of a lot of different accessibility features for people with disabilities. And what we're going to be focusing on is in the vision section. So in the vision, vision section, there's a lot of different choices, but I'm going to tap on display and text size for this video here today. So I'm going to tap on that. And here we have a lot of different options. So I'm gonna go through each one and talk a little bit about each one. So the first one is called bold text. And this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna to toggle this on by tapping that toggle button. And it just made all the text bold. So the text is now a little bit bigger and also a lot darker. So um, this can be really helpful for somebody with low vision or vision impairment uh, to see that text a little bit better. So I'm gonna to toggle that on again toggle that off. So now for the next one, larger text. I really like this one. I'm going to tap on that. And when I tap and toggle on larger accessibility sizes, that opens up a little scroll bar at the bottom that can be adjusted left and right. So if you adjust it left, right now I'm doing that. The words are getting smaller. Adjust it to the right, text is getting bigger. So for somebody, this can be really helpful in finding the right size text uh, that's legible for them. So again, scrolling to the left shrinks it, scrolling to the right makes it nice and big. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna turn that off and leave it in the middle. Um, adjust it down a little bit here and go back to the display and text size section. So the next one here is called on and off labels and I'm gonna toggle it on here. So when you toggle the switch on, instead of other switches just being a little bit hard to tell if they're on or off, it adds a zero and then it'll add a one if it's toggled on or it'll be a zero if it's toggled off. So this can be helpful just to know, uh, especially if maybe seeing the green is hard, uh, if a label or this one of these switcher toggles is on or off. So the next one is reduce transparency. So this one, if you toggle that on, so I just toggled it on, so here it says, improves contrast by reducing transparency and blurs on some backgrounds to increase legibility. So this can be helpful if um, some of the contrast is difficult um, and make it a little less transparent so it'd be a little bit easier to read. So I'm gonna to toggle that off. The next one is really helpful and that is increase contrast. So I'm gonna to toggle that on and that makes the colors just stand out a little bit more. So as you can tell, when I toggle that off, it's a little hard with these switches. Uh, it's kind of a light gray and a white. Uh, that could be hard for someone to see. But if I um, toggle it on, the gray is a little bit darker. So it just makes it a little bit easier to see because of the contrast. So this one is differentiate without color. So I'm gonna to toggle that on. So again, here it has a little explanation. It says replaces user interface items that rely solely on color to convey information with alternatives. Again, just another way to help out uh, with seeing the screen. So I'm gonna to toggle that off. Now the next one, Smart Invert, I think is pretty cool. So it reverses the colors of the display. So this can be really helpful um, for somebody who does better with kind of a contrast like this. So I toggled it on. So now it's a black background with white letters. If I toggle it off, it's kind of a white and then some gray uh, with black letters. So for some people that contrast can be really helpful uh, like this. So that's another great feature. And this one is also very similar. This is called classic invert. Um, so the smart invert is a little more um, specialized for different images and media and things, but classic invert just, just inverts and changes everything. 
Um, again, it looks very similar, um, but it even changes kind of the icons over here on the left, what their colors are like. Um, so that's, again, a pretty cool feature. So the next one here is color filters. So this can be helpful. I'm gonna tap on it now. It brings up a menu and there's a section here that says color filter. So if you tap on that, it gives you different options for filtering out colors. And this can be helpful for somebody who's colorblind, um, who struggles to see different colors, uh, to make the colors change to really fit, uh, fit their need. So I'm gonna toggle that off and I'm gonna go back, but that's a pretty, pretty cool feature there. And then the next one, reduce white point, can also be really helpful um, for somebody who struggles with the brightness that the iPad or iPhone can uh, is delivering. So it's adjustable here. So I toggled it on and then there's a little scroll bar. So if you go to the left, uh, it, it seems brighter. You go to the right, kind of reduces the white point like they're saying. Uh, so right now I'm scrolling to the right, it's getting pretty dim. Um, so finding the right combination there uh, can be really helpful. And then finally is auto brightness. So I have auto brightness already toggled on, but for some people they need their screen to be bright all the time, no matter what uh, lighting conditions they're in. So if you turn that off, you can just uh, manually increase the brightness and it will stay at that brightness uh, no matter what kind of the outside lighting situation is like. So that's just a basic run through of these different features. Uh, it's really great that iOS devices have this already built in. Again, like I mentioned earlier, you can mix and match, figure out what really works best for you or, or, or somebody you know that you might be helping out with this. Um, but this is a really great option and can make this, uh, these devices a lot more accessible for somebody with low vision or vision impairment. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video is helpful in breaking down the different features of the vision accessibility and the display and the text sizes and how they can be changed and what they do. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it and have a wonderful day. Bye.